friends and welcome to Little Bitty Noggins. Today we are going to be making these super cute little yip yip baskets. Yip 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 yip. Oh, I loved these guys on Sesame Street when I was a kid. All right, so for this pattern you are going to need a G four millimeter crochet hook, an H five millimeter crochet hook, some yarn. Worsted weight works best. Uh, this guy is worked with the H hook and a size five yarn. And this one was worked with a worsted weight. It's a little bit smaller. So a five yar weight yarn that's not like super fluffy would work really well, just like the worsted weight would. Uh, you will need some white yarn, whatever color of your choice, and an accenting color. You can see I used this light blue here, or light bluey green here for this guy, and I just did white and pink for the fringe for the pink one. You will need some 10 millimeter safety eyes, a stitch marker if possible. Uh, you can also use just a small piece of yarn to mark your stitch, and you will need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. So jumping right in, we are going to take our H crochet hook. I'm gonna put these to the side because we don't need them right now. And you are going to make a magic ring the end of your yarn. So let's set that up real quick here. So there's my magic ring and we're gonna lock it in place with a chain and we are going to do six single crochet for our first round. So the base of this crochet pattern is just an increasing circle. So we start off with six, one, two, three, four, five, six, close our circle, and then we are going to go into the next stitch or the first stitch from the last row and we are going to do two single crochet into each stitch all the way around, increasing our count to 12. All right, there's 12. So for the next round, we are going to do an increase or a single crochet into the first stitch and then an increase in the following and we are gonna repeat that all the way around so one single crochet and then two single crochets into the next and we are going to repeat that so there's six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 in the same stitch. All right, so there's round three. And for round four, we're gonna do two single, or a single crochet into the first two stitches. So one and two, and then two single crochets into the next for three and four. And we're going to repeat that around one and one, and then one and two. So there's eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve into the same stitch. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen into the same stitch. Seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20 into the same stitch, 21, 22, and then 23 and 24 into the same stitch. So this next round is going to be a little bit different. We are going to be working into the back loop only. So when you are looking at your work, you see these little V's here. So there's one there and one there. I'm going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see. So there's little V's. Boop and boop, one, two. We are gonna be working into the stitch that's furthest away from us. So our hook is gonna go right in there and only in there. 
we're not going to put it into both. So for each of these stitches in this round, which is 24 of them, we are going to work into the back loop only. And this is the only round we're going to be doing that. Because what it's doing is it's just kind of creating a barrier and a fold. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four. All right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So there's your 24. And if you look, it kind of creates a little barrier. And this is also making the area where we are going to insert our fringe at the end. Okay, so next we are going to be doing eight rounds of 24 single crochet so if we do our multiplication we do 24 times 8 and that gives us 192 so we are going to be making 192 stitches all the way around to get to the top of our main area two stitches later woo all right what we're gonna do is we are going to take our stitch marker here and we are gonna mark this last stitch actually hold on not the last stitch we're gonna do one more stitch in and mark that one like so beautiful beautiful all right we're gonna take our stitch marker and place it right in there and what we're going to do is we are going to, this is single crochet one here. So we're going to do 17 more single crochets in a row. So there's one. We've got, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then one more is 18. And what we're going to do is we are going to chain one, 
turn our work and we're going to do 18 single crochets in this row now. So instead of working in rounds, we are working in rows. It's a little awkward. Drop that down in there. 16. Oh. <laughs> 16, 17, and then 18. All right. And at this point, we can take our stitch marker out because we've hit the correct spot there. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work again. And this is a decrease round, so we are going to decrease, do a decrease stitch over the, the next two stitches. So there's your decrease. And then we are going to do six single crochets. So one, two, three, four five, six, we're going to decrease again, one, two, pull them together, then we are going to do six single crochets again, four, five, six, and then we're going to decrease again, chain up one, turn our work, and we're going to do another decrease row. So this is going to be a decrease first, and then four single crochet, then we're going to decrease again, and then we're going to do five single crochet. three, four, five, and then we're going to decrease again, chain one, turn our work. For this next row, we are going to just do 12 single crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We're going to chain one and turn our work. This is another decrease row, so we're going to decrease the first two stitches like that. Then we are going to do three single crochet. One, two, three. We're going to decrease again. We're going to do three more single crochet and decrease one last time. Chain one and turn our work and we're going to do nine single crochet across here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, chain one, turn our work, and we are going to do another decrease row, so we're going to decrease single crochet one, we're going to decrease again, single crochet two, and then decrease one last time there leaving us with six stitches here. We're going to chain one and turn, and we are going to do three decreases in a row here. So decrease number one, decrease number two, and decrease number three. Chain one, turn our work. So we are left with three stitches here. And what we're going to do is we are going to single crochet decrease three together. So to do that, we are going to take our hook, we insert into the first stitch, 
pull up a loop. Insert our hook into the second stitch, pull up a loop, and then insert into the third stitch and pull up a loop. So we have four loops on our hook, we yarn over and pull through all of them. And then we're gonna chain, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna work single crochets all around the mouth of our guy here. So it doesn't have to be perfect, there isn't a stitch count. What I would try to do is do about a stitch per row that you made leading up to this. So I'm gonna put my first stitch in whatever area I think is a good spot to do it. And I'm just gonna go all the way around the mouth of this, putting a stitch into approximately each row. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's somewhat even. And then once I get down here to the area where my stitches are the mouth of the the guy where we didn't start our decreases, we're just going to put a stitch in each. And then we're going to work up the opposite side. Again, approximately putting a stitch into each row. This is the kind of wouldn't say tricky, but just trying to find a good spot to insert your hook to make those single crochets can be a little bit difficult. And we're going to go all the way up to the top where we have our first stitch. See, that's that spot right there is probably not the best because it's a very large hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we pulled that stitch out and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the area that's kind of next to it. So it blocks that a little bit. It doesn't open it up wider. All right. So now we have made it to the top of our little guy here. And this is the part where you make the the thing you're going to hang it from. So depending on what you're hanging it from is going to be how many chains you want to do. So for this one, I chained 20. So, or not this one, sorry. For this one, I chained 20. So it's not a super big loop. This one, I chained 30. It's, it's longer and it will have more, more availability to be put into, like into use like for a car rear view mirror or whatever you want to use it, hang it from a hook or a tack or whatever. So this part really just depends on where you're hanging it from, how you want to hang it, and you know, just all of that. So measure with your heart, my friends. I am going to do 30 single or 30 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm on eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook into the area that uh, the chain started in. And I am going to... Whoop, do that apparently. Um, <laughs> I'm going to insert my hook here and I'm going to take my yarn. Let me see here. Why is this being such a pain? Let's go from the back side. So flip your guy over and then insert your hook, pull up a loop, go through the loop that was on your hook to make the chain yarn over, pull that through. So here is the end. Oh, I should have made that bigger. Okay. So don't make the same mistake that I just made. Make, leave yourself a pretty good sized tail because this is what you're going to use to sew your eyes on. Uh, so it doesn't clash with the white yarn, doesn't clash with your green that you've got. So you're going to use this tail. I think I can probably get away with this leave yourself more yarn than what I left myself because that's not, it's not a very large amount. Okay. So 
We have finished the body and the hanging part of our Yip Yip guy. Give him a good squish, a little pull. So it kind of ovals out his mouth there. And we are going to work on the eyeballs. So get out your white yarn and your G crochet hook. And what we are going to do is we are going to create a magic ring and we are going to single crochet six into that magic ring. So there's that. Lock it in place with a slip with a chain. All right. And then, whoop. so there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we are going to close our magic ring, but we're not going to make it super tight because we are going to be using, those are too big. Where are my, they're right in front of me. We're going to be using these 10 millimeter safety eyes to go into there. We're not going to do that just yet. I just dropped that eyeball. It landed on my pant leg. Okay. So the next row for these eyes, we are going to be doing a single crochet into the first stitch and then a an increase into the next. So all the way around, it's going to be a total of nine stitches. So we've got a single crochet, an increase, a single crochet, and then another increase. And then a single crochet and another increase for a total of nine. All right, and then we are going to single crochet nine all the way around, creating this little eyeball. And there's nine. So now we've finished the main body because the next row is a decrease row. And what we're going to do, we're going to take our safety eye, we're going to place it inside there. We're going to go inside out and we are going to take our backing for our safety eye and we're going to smush it down on there. But before we do that, hold on, we're going to pull tight on that tail for our magic ring. So it's nice and tight around that eyeball there. All right, so there's that. And we are going to take the tail of our from our magic ring and we're going to kind of just shove it down into the eye. So this is going to kind of stuff the eyeball without having to use polyfill. Cuz the eye doesn't need to be stuffed but having a little bit in there is not a bad thing. Wrong hook. All right, so back with our G crochet hook, not the H. Uh, we are going to decrease four. So we're gonna do four decreases. So here's one, here's two, here's three, and we got one more for four and then in the next stitch we're just gonna single crochet and there is our eyeball we're gonna go into the next stitch and just do a little slip stitch pull up a loop we don't need a long tail for this because it's just gonna be used to close up the eyeball so there is the first eyeball for our little yippee yip guy so we put that over here and we've got to make the second one. All right. Grab another backing out and another safety eye. All right. So working on this one again, we are going to repeat what we did for the other eye.
eyeball number two. So the next part we're going to do is we are going to close up the backs of our eyes and then we are going to attach our eyes to our little buddy. So we're going to take our yarn needle and to close up this eye what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the stitch that's directly across from where I finished pull my yarn through there, go to the stitch that's next to that, and go directly across from there, turn this, and then find that stitch that I haven't gone into yet, and go through it. Pull nice and tight, and you have cinched up your eye, and you're going to make a loop, pull it tight, and there is your one eyeball. And then what I do for this is I just shove my yarn needle through to give there a little bit of extra security, cut off that tail, and there's eyeball number one. We are going to do that again to this eye, and then we're going to sew our eyes on. Okay. Stitch, stitch. Turn, stitch, stitch. And then we're going to insert our hook into the top here. Find a good spot. Pull it, make a loop, put your needle through, pull it nice and tight so you've got a knot. And then just slide your hook, or your hook, slide your needle through and cut off that tail end there. So now we've got two eyeballs and we've got a body. Now we need to attach the eyeballs to the body. So to do that, what we're going to do is we are going to take our tail that I should have left longer, but didn't, and thread our needle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eye, so my working yarn is on this side, so we're going to do this eye first. And we are going to place our eyeball just next to that area. And we are going to just stitch into that spot there. And we're going to do that again, just stitching it up, giving it some security. So now there's one eyeball on, super cute, little yip yip baby. And then we're going to take our tail and we are going to slide it through these stitches here and come out on the opposite side, right? And we are going to place our second eye. We find it, we get a good spot for it, make sure it looks even, flip our work over, and then, come on, <laughs> all right, and then we're just going to stitch into the eyeball, like so, working into the eye and into the main part of our yip yip. All right, like that. Pull this tail through, pull that nice and tightly. And then what I'm gonna do is to finish this off, I'm just gonna pull my yarn through. There's a, there's a little loop right there put my, my needle through there and pull this nice and tight to make a knot and then weave in my end into the stitches in the back here like so pull that cut it and then get our eyes to where we want them 
So this is good. There it is. Your own little yip yip. Fully crocheted. All right. To, so to finish this guy up, we are going to be adding white and green fringe. So what we're going to do is we are going to make some fringe that's about, say, six inches long. So we're going to cut our first set of fringe, and we are going to need 24 of these, so 12 of each color. So I'm going to real quick here cut 12 of each of these. cut these for you okay there we go so what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our little yip yip dude and our G hook and we are going to alternate between white and green and what we're gonna do is we insert our hook into one of these back the front loops that we skipped and we're gonna pull our yarn through to make a loop, grab our tails, and then pull that tight. And we're going to alternate white and green all the way around. And if you wanted to, you could probably insert all of your, all of your tails or all of your fringe at once. So like that, like this, and just insert all of them in there, or at least all of them for like the area that you're working in. You don't want to do the work and then have them fall out. So like that, and then you can just go back and do the flip through like so instead of going back and forth and back and forth and we turn okay so we need a white one and then a green one And then a white one. And then a green one. We'll go back and do those four. Do the little flip through. So, flip. All right. Not too many more. I love making these little guys. So I had seen a Instagram reel with someone who had made some of these and I was like, those are really cute. I bet I could come up with a pattern for those. So I pre like, I worked on it for a little while and then this was the final project or product i should say and i love it i think it's super cute all right so four more i think five more five more okay green let go And then white. Can y'all even see? I keep scooting closer and closer to myself. 
And another thing with the fringe is they don't have to be perfect. Green and then white. And then a green. This is the last one right there. All right. And there's the fringe done for our little yip yip dude. Super cute, super crazy googly eyeballed. I love him so much. I hope y'all love him here. I'm gonna bring the camera up just a bit so y'all can see him. He's so cute. All right. So there is our family of yip yips. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you make a bunch of these guys and please feel free if you do make these send me a like tag me on Instagram tag me on Facebook at little bitty noggins uh, if you have not subscribed yet please feel free to click that subscribe button um, like comment share with your friends who want to learn how to crochet and make super cute little guys like this um, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you so much for all of your support, and I hope you have the best rest of your day that you can possibly have. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!